Welcome to Linkronicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Kumagai, your Linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. Today, we're going to be talking about linking to your sensory experiences. Now, I got a request in my inbox for this video specifically for Karen from Oklahoma City. You said I could say your name. I didn't say your last name per your request, but uh, Karen from Oklahoma City, this one's for you. Linking to your sensory experiences. Karen writes, when I was a child, all I can remember was there was so much noise. My nieces and my nephews are now asking about any kinds of childhood experiences that I can remember, but because it was so noisy, I'm having trouble recalling anything. Can you help me? <laughs> yes, Karen, I can help you. And thank you for writing in. I really appreciate it. Um, I can help you do that. I know that sometimes when you have certain memory recall with your childhood, there are blockages. And that's natural. A lot of people have blockages. They don't remember everything. Some people do. But not everybody remembers everything because they have something very prominent that is stuck out as part of their childhood memory. And for you, obviously, it was noise, because you said it was really noisy, but you didn't say why it was noisy. I don't know, was there arguing, fighting? Was it just, do you live around, do you live around a railroad, or uh, was there machinery, or I don't know what was noisy in your house, but if you had a lot of noise, chances are you probably couldn't really escape into a book, because there was exterior stuff preventing you from fully engaging with a book or something like that, right? So you don't have those types of favorite childhood stories that you can recall, or something else. But let me ask you, did you have anything else within your sensory experience? For instance, do you remember what it felt like to feel paper mache paste between your fingers or actually getting your hands in finger paint or the smell of crayons or maybe you were in the kitchen with your family. Do you remember the smell of cinnamon rolls for the first time or bacon cooking or Maybe the feel of a dandelion, you know, like tickling as you blew on it and it kind of all the little pieces were fluttering about. Or maybe seeing a butterfly uh, as you're playing outside. These types of sensory experiences can also help you unblock the ones that are being blocked from the recall of only hearing noise. If we tap into everything else that we have going on, we can actually have a better memory recall to the experiences that bring us joy. And when we tap into that kind of memory recall, we're actually balancing our mind, body, soul, spirit, health, well-being. It puts us back in check with happy, positive feelings. And I know that you always hear me talk about mood management and the seasonal affective disorder and feeling kind of lethargic at this time of year or maybe feeling like you're just not into all of the fun moods because you're feeling kind of weighed down, right, by some of the things that you're recalling that may not be so pleasant. What we can do when we're actually doing self-care, we're taking care of our health and we're getting enough rest and we're getting all of our, you know, vitals all taken care of in terms of sleep and, and uh, proper nutrition and exercise, when we can feed ourselves mentally some of the positive experiences and focus on those, they can help fill our emotional bank, our, our memory tank, from when we get depleted. When we keep filling our emotional tank full of positive recall experiences, like maybe something that outside of the noise, you know, maybe something like I was describing before in your childhood, or the freedom of riding a bike for the first time, or the things that you were accomplished, or feeling like you actually, you know, got through a test and you studied really hard and you had that sense of pride and accomplishment or making new friends. These types of things can help you get back on the positive track of triggering other memories. So as you are, as you said, you are uh, getting back in touch with your nieces and nephews and, and they're asking questions about your childhood, you can have more of a ripple effect in, in story recall. Like one story will fuel another and one story will fuel another when you tap into something outside of the noise. So think about the sense of sight and smell and touch and maybe emotions that were going on or anxiety that you felt, maybe you were nervous raising your hand in class for the first time or something like that that can make them feel included. The feeling of inclusiveness is kind of important when you're talking to younger family members, you know, to give them the reinforcement that, hey, it's okay, I was anxious too or I was, you know, nervous too or, or wow, I felt that sense of victory too when I was able to over, over you know, compensate and achieve and 
and, and get over an obstacle um, or taking the training wheels off my bike, you know, something like that. Those types of things can bring back positive experiences, fill your tank, help you, you know, get back in balance during this time of year when you're doing a lot of memory recall, help you avoid the negative stuff because we're actually filling our recall back with more positivity, sharing it with others in your family, which is actually spreading more joy because then they'll feel excited about it too, and you can get yourself back in check that way. So link to your sensory experiences, all of the things that can trigger other memories outside of the, the opposite of what you experienced is a good, healthy thing for your mind, body, soul, spirit, well-being. So hope that helps. Uh, if you have any more questions, go ahead and drop me an email in my inbox or converse with me on social media, Twitter or Facebook and go DM me, that's fine. Um, and I'm happy to help you with more. And I'm happy to help all of you with more too if you have any questions or have a suggestion for a video. I'm, I'm ready to take them and happy to do one for you. So thank you for the opportunity to do this. And I'm Stacey Coombe, Guy Linkologist, here to help you link your life. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, LinkRenicityBlogspot.com and go to LinkRenicity.com for private coaching sessions. I hope you have a wonderful day tapping back into your senses.